The bubble bag midge is an easy to tie and highly effective little pattern. This fly incorporates a mid-sized silver line bead on top of the hook to imitate an emerging midge. Once you get rolling with these, you can really crank them out in no time. Find these work better tied on an emerger hook, and today I'll be using a TMC 2487 in size 20. For thread, any ADOC black thread will work just fine. Wrap your thread back around the bend of the hook and then back up to the two thirds point. There are many methods to get your bead on top of the hook, but I use a piece of tape on a strand of the same thread I'm using and string the beads on the thread using a pair of forceps. Depending on the amount of thread, you can put quite a few beads on and the tape will hold them in place. I find that silver lined silver glass beads work the best, but pearl also work as well. Create a small loop with the thread and use a pinch wrap to hold the bead before taking thread wraps back to lock it in place. You can then sneak in there with your tying scissors and cut off both pieces of thread. You can bulk up the body a little bit with a few more thread wraps, then wrap up back behind the bead. Now I slowed this part down so you can see it. To get the bead securely locked in, take a couple of thread wraps around before taking a few more wraps in front and then back behind the bead. Then repeat the process a second time to really get that bead locked down well. Then perform a four or five turn whip finish and cut your tying thread off close. And that is the bubble back midge. This fly works great wherever midges are present and I have found that it works well in the morning before a hatch and during one as well. I caught and released this killer rainbow using the bubble back midge. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also check out mayflymusings.com. Stay safe and tight lines.